tucked behind the traffic. Just give me a moment. Just let me through, let me through, let me through. Come on. Thank you, finally. Um, yeah, right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just heading back from work, heading home. And I thought uh, maybe I can uh, do a video. So I think it's a good time. I got a 40 minute ride. So I think it's a good time. I got enough time to go through things. And what I want to talk about, and I've been wanting to talk about um, that topic for a long time. The problem with international students. You know, the problem with international students. Specifically, but not only exclusively, but specifically English learners. But really, it can cover everybody. But the problem with international students is that, uh, where do I start? I mean, where do I start? Um, see, I was an international student, right? So, it's not like, you know, I don't have anything against them, but I was one. And so I, I, I know what they go through. I know how hard it is being far from home. I've experienced it. I know how tough it is. No doubt about it. But, but I just don't get some of the decisions they make. I don't get some of the decisions they make. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me, right? They come with a lot of motivation in the start. They're very enthusiastic. They're very ambitious. And they're lucky that they get the visa. I mean, they get the visa, especially from you know certain countries. Um, not easy for a lot of people to apply for a visa, to save enough money to come, to, to pay for the tickets, to afford accommodation, to do all that. It's not really easy, right? So they do it. And then when they get here, you know what they do? They start hanging out with each other. They forget about why they came to this country. A lot of them came because they wanted to get a unique and a different experience. Unfortunately, they forget all about that when they get here. You see them hanging out with each other all the time. That means they speak their language. They speak their first language. They isolate themselves. They avoid talking to people who don't speak the language. They become lazy. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to attend classes. All they want to do is work. And that beats the purpose of coming to Australia. I mean, look, I understand that you want to work. I understand that you need to get a job. Um, it's an expensive city. I mean, Sydney is an expensive city. One of the most expensive cities in the world, as a matter of fact. But you got to understand that, you know, you, you, you've come here because you want to achieve something. You want to make something out of it. You want to get something. You want to do something great. You know, you want to achieve a goal. You want it to do something different with your life. That's why you're not still there. You're not back there. You're here. The whole purpose of living back there is to be here and to do something that is different. But then you just put yourself in the same situation that you were in before you came to this country. So you don't change your manners. You don't change your behavior. You don't change your your habits. You don't change anything you do. So what is the point of leaving your country? What is the point of coming to a new place if you're not gonna show any initiative, if you're not gonna try um, to adapt, to adjust to a new environment, to, to adjust to a new culture? You're not even trying. And that's the problem that I have with a lot of international students. They love their people. I mean, they love their people, but, you know, they get lazy. I don't know what happens to them. You know, they, they get here and they get lazy. They don't want to do anything anymore, right? They get a job. They get paid $10 an hour. They get exploited. They get taken advantage of. They do jobs. Uh, 
you know, low pay jobs and and they do have great potential. They're smart people, they're educated. The only thing they need is language. How hard is it to learn the damn language? They don't learn it. They don't want to learn it. All they want to do is um, just stick around the same people that speak their language and do the same old thing that they used to do back in their countries. And what a shame. What a waste. Where is the motivation? I don't know where the motivation is. There's no motivation. There's no drive. There's no ambition, right? They don't think about how much money their parents had to spend to get him in this country. They don't understand how many sacrifices they had to make to get them to this place. They don't know how privileged they are and they waste all that. They waste all that. They waste money, they waste time and they forget about why they're here. And that's a big shame.